Hi, I'm Donald McIntyre, Senior Editor at the ETC Cooperative. This is the ETC Proof of Work course, Class 13. There will only be three or four Proof of Work blockchains in the future. In the previous Class 12, we explained an interesting occurrence that happened in 2020 in the Ethereum ETH blockchain, when it was a Proof of Work POW network, which is that it proved even before Bitcoin BTC that the proof-of-work fee model will work. The thesis that supports the idea is that not only did fee surpass the block reward in both ETH and, and BTC several times, but that because of network effects and the pursuit of security, users will gladly pay high fees to use these valuable networks. Similarly, in this class 13, we will see how network effects and security will determine the number of and market share of each of the leading proof-of-work blockchains in the industry. Blockchains are like operating systems. As blockchains are like operating systems, they will likely behave and be positioned as such. Operating systems are software code that associate the parts of the hardware in which they are installed to the applications used in those devices. As such, they represent standards that developers of multiple applications and providers can rely on to build their, their apps so they can be compatible with each other and familiar to all users. Similarly, blockchains, especially programmable ones, are software systems that represent standards of how accounts, balances, and opcodes must be used by developers for their dApps to interact with each other and for users to find familiar and useful. Given this status as operating systems, but on global peer-to-peer -peer networks, blockchains will likely evolve as such. Network effects and security will determine their market shares. It doesn't matter what bells and whistles new competing entrants may have, the big blockchain players will overwhelm the rest with their, with their network effects. It is more important for users to find other users on these platforms than better features or even better user experiences. In terms of security, network effects and scale produce more safety in these systems. Safety and security in the blockchain industry means less dependence on trusted third parties, which means censorship resistance and permissionlessness on a global scale. Therefore, users will trade off the cheapness and low security of fiat and proof-of-stake POS systems for the popularity and safety of POW blockchains. The global operating system market has three or four large players. Given that the global operating system market on all devices has three or four very large players, Linux is the winner in a small enterprise server niche, we may deduce that the proof of work blockchain segment of the, of the industry will also have three or four large players as well. The rest will likely be insignificant. So this is a snapshot of the current or, or the latest measurement of market shares of operating systems in all devices globally. And it can be seen that Android has a 42% approximately, 41.64, Windows 29.25%, and then iOS drops significantly to 17.71%. Uh, iOS is for iPhones and then um, OS X, which is for Apple computers, laptops and desk desktops has, has only a 6.57%. Then it goes, it drops significantly down. All the rest have more or less 1.93% and Linux only a 1.54%. That's the fifth largest. If you, if you consider it as a single system. Uh, which, which works only in a, in a specific server market. So, so there's three or four large ones, and this is how the operating system market has always um, been distributed uh, in, in the age of, of computers. This trend is already observable in the blockchain industry. In aggregate, the trends mentioned in this post are already observable in the blockchain industry. Bitcoin has consistently had a share of around 50% of the whole market for a long time. Ethereum, as the second largest chain, has had a share of around 25%, and from there, and from there on, the rest tend to be much smaller or insignificant. 
coin market cap here this is a snapshot of, of coin market cap you can see that bitcoin has a 51 percent. this is 51 percent. so it all it's always around 50 percent. it may go down to 40 percent or go up to 60 percent, but it's always around 50 percent. that's that's what we mean by 50 percent um and ethereum here has around 31 percent, but it's it's been all as low as 19 percent and then up to 35 so, but 25 percent is more or less where it where is the average for for ethereum or at least where i perceive it's around 25 percent, 25 to 30 percent and then you can see for example another competing blockchain tether is, is a stable coin so it doesn't count but another competing blockchain blockchain as bnb had has only a value of 45 billion dollars so it's much significantly smaller than bitcoin and ethereum and then the next one 39 billion and then when you go down to the 10th coin is only 11 billion so you have very big ones at the beginning and then it drops significantly therefore it is likely that there will be three or four large proof of work blockchains given that blockchains will likely behave as operating systems that they usually have three or four large players um, and uh, and that these trends are already observable in the market we may deduce that the proof of work blockchain segment of the industry will have three or four large players as well and that the rest will likely be insignificant consistent with this view we estimate that bitcoin will continue to command a 50 percent market share in the proof of work segment then ethereum classic as a programmable digital gold system will likely rise to around 25%. Then another system, probably Litecoin, will have around a 12.5% share. Then uh, maybe Monero, because of its privacy positioning, a 6.25% share, and the rest will follow, uh, but with less significant sizes. In our next two classes, we will make the same analogies, but with global fiat currencies, and we will explain how these things will play out with regard to the layers of the blockchain industry so this 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 is a theoretical market share of the future is taking into account that the blockchain industry is going to be layer you're going to have the wallets then the dApps and the web3 applications then you're going to have proof of work proof of stake systems and all the uh, scaling systems and channels um as a as a as a the fourth layer, uh, third layer, second layer, and as the first layer, the base layer of the industry are going to be proof of work blockchains precisely because of its, their security, because proof of work is the most secure system. And in that base segment is where I think that Bitcoin is going to have a 50% share, then, then Ethereum Classic is going to be the second one with a 25% share, and then you're going to have smaller ones like Litecoin, Monero, and all the rest are going to be insignificant. Thank you for watching this video, ETC Proof of Work course, class 13. There will only be three or four proof of work blockchains in the future. Uh, to learn more about Ethereum Classic, please go to ethereumclassic.org. Thank you very much.